with the discussion for today so our topic for uh, discussion today is how do i become a software engineer right so how do i start my career as a software engineer so all of you might know like uh, software engineering is one such field where uh, uh, things are good right so things are good and also you'll be able to get a good career and all other things now the main question that comes to us is how do i start a career as a software engineer for me right so for that what we will do is let us understand few things so if you are able to see my screen i will just try to uh, give you an understanding of what we are trying to do and then how we are going to achieve it in a few minutes right so let me just open a note here so okay so i assume that people who are attending today few people may be uh freshers few people may be from a different working background and few of them are looking forward to change their career etc 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 now for us what we are trying to do is we are trying to see how exactly this path can be fulfilled so i'll be telling you some basic things about our discussion today and then i will explain to you how exactly the things would work right so the major things that we are going to discuss today are basically if i were to tell you we will understand who is a software engineer right we will understand who is a software engineer and then we will also understand what are the things that is needed right so what are the things that you need to know or probably uh, you can say why should one become a software engineer so this thing also we will answer and then what are the skill sets that you will need right so the required skill set and basically what will be the roles and responsibilities of a software engineer so this one and then apart from this we will also see what are the companies that are hiring software engineers right so all these topics will cover one by one in today's uh, uh, webinar so that you can get an answer to all your questions so basically who is a software engineer right a software engineer is a professional who basically writes softwares so as simple as that any person who writes softwares is a software engineer so the main purpose of a software engineer is to write code right so apart from that what happens is he need to design an architecture a software engineer needs to design an architecture debug the code debug as in if there are any corrections or any errors in the code he needs to debug them and then he needs to maintain the software whatever they have built so basically what is the main objective is design a software code write the code to do the software do the debugging and also do the testing of the software right so whether it works or not and once everything is done he needs to maintain so there are different different stages in which a person uh, becomes a software engineer so a person who's known as a technical architect a coder a tester a support engineer so all of them come under software engineering field right so how exactly you become a software engineer there are two things one is you can directly come from college right so if you have done a computer science degree or if you have done some kind of a degree which is uh, into software engineering that is from education from your college and one more thing is self learning so we we would have seen people who have become software engineers who have done bcom degree right so some people have done bsc degree they are also software engineers so it's not compulsory that you should have an engineering degree to become a software engineer right now what happens is whenever you are trying to understand for a software engineer there are two things that will come 
right so people call them as software developer they call it as software engineer they call them as a software development engineer so all these terms are interchangeable so don't worry on those things all of them are interchangeable all of them mean the same that you are a software engineer now the main reason is fine we understood what is a software engineer who is a software engineer and then why should i become a software engineer right so all of you might have seen 15 years down the lane the main predominant field that we were trying to understand or probably work were either civil engineering or mechanical engineering even in engineering there were very less right so civil engineer mechanical engineer were having lot of scope but with time so once the dot com boom happened what happens the it started the growth so it started the growth phase and then what happened is computers become accessible right so if you can see all of us might have used computers or maybe first time we have used computers 10 years before but now if you can see the computer what we used 10 years before and the phone that we are having today our telephone is having more power and more memory than the computer that we used previously now what is happening is technology is developing okay the technology is developing and with the technology keeps on developing the problems in technology also will develop what i'm trying to tell you is whenever you are trying to develop the technology right so let us say you are trying to write a piece of code or probably you are trying to develop a software the problems in the software also will be developing right so there are a lot of problems that needs to be solved by using softwares so previously softwares were used for accounting purpose for writing some kind of uh, uh, documentation etc etc now everything is driven by software you order vegetables by software you try to buy uh, clothes and all other accessories in software which is your websites and uh, you even take uh, let's say for example even nowadays even marriages are also people are looking for matches in software right in apps so apps are nothing but softwares so when the technology is solving lot of problems in the world the requirement of people to write software is every day increasing right so people technology and softwares are becoming part of everyone's life previously none of us even in the remote villages did not have smartphones now every smartphone is connected internally which means internet is there everyone are having smartphones whatsapp etc etc all of you know the technology is growing at, and it will continue to grow so the demand for software engineers is always there right so now why exactly you need to take up software engineering right software engineering has its own uh, what can i say advantages over other professions right so the first thing is the salary part of it so let's say you become any other professional plus a software engineer the salary of software engineer is higher compared to any profession any other profession on an average right a uh, fresher who is having like one year two year experience will somewhere make around 5 lakh rupees on an average and anyone within i mean anyone having more than 10 years of experience software engineer somewhere makes 15 lakhs per year on an average so which is a pretty good salary and one of the main thing that software engineers offer is you have something called as work from home no other profession or very less professions give you this option so if you are a businessman you have to go out if you are a, let us say doctor you have to go out if you are let us say a lawyer you have to go out you can't work from home only a software engineer is allowed to work from home and due to the pandemic what is happening now is the work from home options are becoming more 
the hybrid mode of working is becoming high so which means the work from home options are increasing so if you become a software engineer believe me there is no need for you maximum companies are not asking their employees to come and work at office because people are giving same results working from home so companies in a profit so they will not give you a compulsory work from office kind of a thing and one more thing is the work environment is casual there is no need for you to go ahead and then wear formals every day start at 10 o'clock and then you need to be till six o'clock so all these things are of the past there will be flexible work schedules that you can choose and also work so flexible work schedules are there and etc so these are some of the things that uh, as a software engineer you can go ahead and then you'll be able to uh, enjoy whenever you become a software engineer so this is something i wanted to tell you so now having said this let us go ahead and then see what are the skills that you need to require whenever you are trying to become a software engineer right so one of the main thing that you need to require whenever you go and then pursue any computer science related field or a degree is you need to have a basic education i assume that every one of you who are attending here are um uh, college pass outs or maybe you are in some other profession so that is fine so that is no problem apart from that you need to know few programming languages not all of them but i will just give you an option you can know let us say python you can know java you can know c plus plus and then you can also know something called as ruby and then uh, there is something called as c sharp there's something called as javascript right so knowing all of them is better but if you don't know all of them also it is fine it is not compulsory that you should know all of them so knowing all of them is better but it is not compulsory so what all the things that software engineer knows right so javascript is something that is also there now it is not important to learn three four language simultaneously as a beginner okay you you don't have to learn three four languages as a beginner you start with one let us say you pick up python or you pick up java so anything you pick up first and then you become very well versed you become a good python programmer and then you can go ahead and then learn something new right so in this one what all the things that you should know you should know about the basic concepts so in this one you should know about the concept concept will be the theory and also the rules to write the code which is nothing but your syntax so the concept the syntax the advantages of the language the disadvantage of the language everything plus one important thing that you should know here is you should have done some projects right so hands-on learning is important so whatever courses that are being offered here will ensure that you will be learning hands-on but we will also guide you for the projects so knowing these is very important if you are trying to become a software engineer at this point of time right so now how are you going to understand uh, how exactly i can go ahead and then uh, start my software engineering journey once you start doing all these things there are some websites where you can go ahead and then uh, practice right so practice and also try to learn new things to debug so all of you might have known about stack overflow if not uh, you can just google that stack overflow is a website where you will get answers to the problems that have been posted by developers this is one thing and also you have something called as hacker rank so you can just go ahead log in into hacker rank and then you you will get some challenges to solve so all these things you can do once you are very well versed with one programming language probably in python java or whatever it is so basically python is very renowned programming language right now and then you can go ahead and then understand them 
now once you are able to do all these things you might have to enhance your skills learn your new uh, degrees and also main get certificates right so once you do all these things so once you cover your concept rules projects and everything you should become a certified person so once you do it you should have a certificate in your name right so certificate what it will do is it will help you to showcase your skills to the industry which means you can go ahead and then tell that uh, i am certified i know all these things so i am capable of doing the coding and all of that so after this how exactly your career path will grow is what we are going to see right so roles and responsibilities as i already said the roles will include designing coding debugging testing maintaining etc 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 so they are the same roles and responsibilities what a software engineer does so if someone calls him as a graphic designer ux designer web developer java developer python developer all of them are software engineers even manual tester automation tester all of them are belonging to software engineering field so that is the basic roles and responsibilities of a software engineer now what happens is the designations i will tell you it depends on company to company some people call them as uh, uh associate software engineer some companies call him as a senior software engineer software associate front end engineer back end engineer qa engineer devops engineer everything is with respect to the software engineering role only so you will be able to uh go ahead and then uh, land up in any such job which is belonging to software engineering now what are the companies that are hiring software engineers so if you can see the companies that are hiring software engineers there are so many companies like if you can observe every company that you know right so starting let me start from the uh, companies that you know if i were to list you will have tcs you have wipro you have infosys right you have hcl you have mindtree you have accenture you have uh, cognizant you have capgemini and then uh, let us say for example uh, apart from this anything else we have um, these are few of the major ones that comes into my mind so let's say next companies that you can see here uh, you can you can probably go ahead and then uh, uh, go for companies like uh, sony you can go to companies like uh, let us say alcatel you can go to companies like uh, uh, let's say verizon you can go to companies like uh, paypal etc etc these are one level above so service based product based you have the top companies which is facebook you have uh, apple you have amazon you have netflix right you also have something called as google so these companies are called as fang companies f a a n g so fang companies so starting from the service based company still the top companies in the world you name a company any company dell lenovo hp lg anything that you see is a software company so they are hiring and the hiring will always be there so be rest assured that uh, you will be able to go ahead and then uh, understand what exactly your uh, uh, scope is right now coming to the most important part that is the salaries right usually how much salaries that a software engineer gets so based on what i'll put a star here based on company on an average right so based on a company on an average the starting price of a fresher or probably the starting salary of a fresher start from 3 lakh rupees to 5 lakh rupees on an average okay this is i'm telling you on an average now if you were to see there are companies which are paying 15 to 20 lakhs let's say you have flipkart 
right so flipkart pays this much you have zomato so you have let's say google uh you have salesforce or yeah um so so many other companies are there they pay you in this bracket basically now let us say a little bit more like you get 20 to 30 lpa provided you have the right skills the companies which are uh, called as tower research if you want you can go ahead and then uh, check them tower research and also you have something called as a world quant so these companies pay you in this particular range right so apart from this there are so many other companies which will also pay you in the range of 12 to 15 lpa so for uh, not a fresher this can be like a five plus years experience or maybe three plus years experience but this is on an average i'm telling you that depends on the company what you're looking at based on the company i'm telling you on an average so if you're looking at 12 plus there are some things like uh, city is there city corporation you have uh, oracle uh, you have citrix uh, so many there are so many other companies and um, let's say 15 to 20 so many are there so from a range of 10 to 20 lakhs you will be able to get multiple service based or product based companies right so and now along with this there is another league of companies that is coming in which are known as startups right you have startups also right startups are also paying you very very well so the range will start let's say from 3 lakhs and it goes up to 20 lakhs so it depends on what startup you are in so startups like uh, let's say i don't know whether you would have heard these names or not but zeta is there you have something called as udan you have mpl which is your mobile premier league you have phone pay uh, you have curefit uh, and also you have uh, let us say uh, rubix right uh, rubric so rubric is there so these are the companies that will be able to uh, afford this much of the salary so as i told you becoming a software engineer is a step for you what i would rather say is whenever you are trying to go ahead and then learn something follow these things salary will automatically follow so if you can go ahead and then see whatever i have written here so the main thing that you need to do what is the thing that i need to highlight here is focus on these focus on your skills because your skills are more important so if i were to write it here to achieve this learn one programming language first then improve on others so this is something that i would like to highlight and if i were to tell you pick up a programming language of your interest python java etc etc understand the concepts properly rules and also the projects the main thing that will help you is gaining a certificate right so once you're able to gain a certificate then you will be able to apply and then then you will be able to go ahead and then understand uh, how exactly the industry pursues you as a software engineer so having said this uh, there are courses that have been offered by uh, us so you can just go ahead and then uh, look into them and uh, try to take a call which course suits you our learning managers will help you to assess that and also they'll be able to help you to uh, plan out your career and also if there are any doubts they'll be able to solve them help them and how you can get into this field so having said this software engineering is an evergreen field as long as the technology is there as long as people are using technology software engineering field will exist and then it will grow so that is something i wanted to tell you and uh, any questions anyone has any questions right now anyone has any questions you can feel free to ask me any questions to anyone
okay so if there are no questions um i would like to wish you all the best so all the best for your journey make a wise decision take up a course which is designed and uh, focused for your learning which is designed by experts and also delivered by professionals and experts you have learning managers here you can have self paced learning you can have instructor led learning everything that is being taught here is hands on which will help you to accelerate your uh, learning process and then which will help you to uh, probably reach your uh, software development goal faster right so with this uh, i wish you all the best to everyone and then take a wise decision remember whatever investment you make in your knowledge will pay you the best interest right so take a course which is good and then uh, start your journey being a software professional and then you can have a bright future so all the best and uh, thank you have a nice uh, day and also a nice weekend ahead and uh, over to the learning manager thank you Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to today's webinar. This is Rudrani this side. I'm the senior course advisor at IntelliPad, also a team leader. I would be helping you out with discussing about the software engineering and application development program that IntelliPad provides from our end, which is in collaboration with Electronics and ICT Academy of IIT Guwahati. First, I'll be explaining you about the program in detail and I will also be sharing with you my contact details if in case you're interested to go ahead with the program. Now, basically, this is a program in software engineering and application development, which has been provided into partnership with IIT Guwahati. So three things are going to be coming out of that. Firstly, the entire course curriculum is designed and developed by IIT Guwahati itself keeping it at par with the international standards of what you need to know in software engineering and application development. So basically, this is going to be a very, very strong accreditation onto your portfolio as IIT Guwahati is one of the best ranked institutes of India. It has a very, very good NRIF ranking in the industry for the quality of content and education that it delivers. Also has a very good international ranking as well, which is going to make this accreditation that you're going to get out of this program a globally recognized one. Right. Secondly, there would be four instructors in total that would be completely delivering the content to you on a real time life basis. So basically two instructors are going to be senior professors from IIT Guwahati, which is Dr. Ratnajit Bhattacharji, who has been associated with IIT Guwahati for 20 plus years now, holding a PhD from Jadavpur University. Then we have Professor Gaurav Trivedi, who is the associate professor at IIT Guwahati, associated with IIT Guwahati since 2011, holding a PhD from IIT Bombay. Then two industry experts would be teaching you. One is Mr. Bhanu Prasad, who is a chief data scientist at nquantum.ai with 14 plus years of experience in data engineering and analytics project with top MNCs. He has mentored over 1000 plus technologists across 10 countries and has worked in firms like IBM, AT&T, AT etc. 
<clears throat> then we have Mr. Amit Kumar, who is a data scientist at Microsoft. So these are the industry experts and the professors who would be delivering the content to you on a real time live basis. Why a combination of these instructors are kept is because we are going to be giving an equal exposure to both the practical front and the theoretical front of this domain. Now, thirdly, you will be getting an advanced certification. Basically, you will be getting a certification in software engineering and application development from IIT Guwahati post the completion of the program. This is going to be a joint certificate. This is what it will represent. This certificate is going to be valid for a duration of lifetime. It is valid through all top organizations in India and abroad. And this is going to be recognized as a professional certificate throughout. This is also going to prove as a very, very strong accreditation onto your portfolio as well. Giving you a little bit of background about IIT Guwahati, it is the sixth IIT of India, meaning that it is one of the oldest IITs of India and it has been on the forefront since then. And it is especially known for the con quality of content that it has for the software engineering program that it provides holds a very good international ranking and a national ranking as well. So upon the completion of the program, you will be receiving an advanced certification in software engineering and application development by ENICT, Academy of IIT Guwahati. Now coming to firstly the curriculum, the entire curriculum is laid out in such a manner that we will be taking you from the very basics into the advanced level concepts of this domain. So from your end, we absolutely do not require any prerequisites as of such in order to be able to go ahead and take this program as everything will be covered from scratch. So we first start with module one, which is a little bit of pre-work, which is the introduction to Python and Linux. Here, we will be helping you out with the installation of Python, the environment setup and the Linux operating system. Then we come to the application development process, which is very, very important when it comes to software engineering, understanding application development requirements and the environment, designing and prototyping, module level implementation and unit testing, integration and testing. Then module three would be object oriented programming language and software engineering, which would be basically all the OOPS concepts. Agile methodology, unit testing, code refactoring, writing clean codes, very, very important. Introduction to virtual control and get an overview of operating systems. <clears throat> then we come to module four, which is entirely dedicated to data structures and algorithm. Wherein you would be learning about time complex complexities, dynamic arrays, hashing techniques, strings, sorting, searching techniques, linked list trees, graphs, greedy algorithms, dynamic programming, analysis, uh, analysis of an algorithm and evaluating the right algorithm for a problem. Then we come to module five, which is database design and querying. So here you would be working on SQL a lot and the different queries associated with it. Then we come to advanced data structures, very, very important pointers, network flow, trees, exponentiation, combina uh, probabilities and combinatorics. Then we, module seven is something which is very, very important again, because we are here going to be solving the top product companies questions that are normally asked in the interviews and everything. So it would be with companies like Google, Amazon, Dell, all of these companies. We will be entirely preparing you for those kind of interviews that you would be sitting in for in ahead in the future if you are looking out for opportunities. Module 8, project management, product management and project management here. It is the entire product development, user stories, roadmaps and prioritizations, visions and measurements. Then we come to a capstone project, which is going to be the biggest project that you will be taking up throughout the program and will every and will involve everything in to a practical level. Then you can choose either one of these specializations post the completion of all of these concepts. It can be a back end specialization wherein you would be working on the back end of any website or it can be a back end of the system entirely. It can be a full stack uh, specialization with front end and back end altogether. 
it can be cloud computing and devops it can be data science as well and it can be cyber security so you can choose either one of these as a specialization along with a software engineering background that you would be going ahead with so this is the entire curriculum that you would be taking up throughout the program throughout the course we will be giving you a very very good practical exposure when it comes to software engineering through industry specific real time projects that you would be taking up throughout the program all of this are going to ensure you of three things firstly that you know how to put your knowledge into practical use secondly you know how to deploy the technology and thirdly and most importantly because when you are going to put all of these projects onto your portfolio it is going to showcase the recruiters and experience that you hold into this particular domain which will make them easier to go ahead and hire you and always have you one step ahead of the crowd so we will be taking you from beginner level to intermediate and advanced level in the incremental growth of difficulty then coming to what services are you going to get as a part of this program basically this is entirely going to be applied learning meaning the entire delivery of the concepts will be made in such a manner that we will be telling you we will be helping you learn that you can put your knowledge into any business domain that you want to work with be it it retail logistics supply chain financial banking anything this is going to be completely live interactive sessions with the instructors on a virtual platform like google meets or zoom across 9 months okay you will be learning from industry practitioners as well as mentored by iit guwahati faculties so that is going to be there as i told you 50 plus industry specific projects and case studies will be taken throughout the program plus one capstone project all of which will be showcasing an experience of yours on to your portfolio you will be having one on one with industry mentor so an industry mentor is someone who has a very good overall knowledge about the industry when it comes to this particular domain he can be like a career coach or a counselor for you you will be having one on one sessions with him regularly as to entirely pave your career path and make sure that you are choosing the right decisions for yourself in case you are transitioning or starting your career with this the most important service that we give is the career services which enables our students get very very easy transitions into the industry whether you are someone who is looking to start their career whether you are someone who is looking to transition into this domain anything we will be completely helping you out with that as well so basically it's it is a five step process that we follow the first step is as soon as you reach 70% of the completion of the program we will be assigning you a professional team who expertizes in portfolio building this team would entirely be working on your cv or resume or linkedin profile and all the other official profiles that you have as to make it very very noticeable to the recruiters and your professional community have all the right keywords and points of lines and statements to bypass the applicant tracking software that most mnc's have and also make it look very heavy on software engineering so this is the entire portfolio optimization that we would be doing the second thing is we would be arranging you a team of training and placement officers would be entirely responsible in communicating with you that if you are going ahead with the placements what are your expectations and requirements out of it so is there a particular location that you are looking at is that a firm is that a sector is that any particular ctc that you are currently holding because if you are already a working professional with a strong accreditation like that you can easily expect a salary hike in the minimum range of 55 to 60% minimum range on your current salaries so that is also something we are going to be enabling and higher levels of positions in the hierarchy as well so on our end it is very important for us to know what are your expectations so we can segregate the organizations accordingly for you then we start with the recruitment drive so regarding the recruitments we have partnerships and collaborations with around 500 plus reputed multinational companies and tech giants all around the world and throughout india and as a part of that we actively give you placements all of which are inclusively created for intellipath students so you do not have to go ahead and compete with the entire crowd out there if i give you a generic example of the kind of companies that would be coming to hire with us that would be companies like microsoft oracle ibm cisco nasdaq sony ericsson dell wells fargo jp morgan johnson and johnson mckinsey shell so we also maintain the quality of placements from our end 
Apart from that, we will be giving you a guarantee of minimum three interviews with top multinational companies that hire for software engineers and application developers. Guaranteed minimum three interviews, meaning most of the time students from our end are able to go ahead and get a job very, very easily in the very first three attempts that they make. If in case that does not happen for you, of course, the fourth and the fifth will be conducted. But that is the probability that we are giving you from our end, the chances that you have as a part of this program. We will also be giving you a job portal. This job portal is called www.jobs.intellipad.com. The exclusive access to this you get post the enrollment in the program here throughout a duration of lifetime. You will be able to see all the vacancies as and when they come with our partnered companies. And even you can apply from your end by showing IntelliPath certification as a verification post which direct interviews would be scheduled for you. And lastly, for all the interviews that you sit for, we would be end to end be training you for the same through various mock interviews, set of questions, salary negotiation skills, soft skills training and all of that. So all of this together is in one service, which is the job assistance. Then we come to a 24 seven support. So a 24 seven support is basically a technical team, which is available 24 seven around the clock. Anytime that you have doubts or you are stuck at any particular part of the course, you can directly connect with this team any time of the day or the night that you want, because they are available 24 seven around the clock. And this particular facility extends for a duration of lifetime. So even post the completion of the program, you would be able to go ahead and ask them any questions that you have. And it will always be a one on one doubt resolution session with them. So either you can call them with your doubts or you can email them the screenshot to your doubts or you can even conduct a Google meeting or a Zoom meeting with them. You can share your screen and discuss your doubts with them. Coming to the last service, we are going to help you with we are going to give you a service, which is a two day campus immersion at IIT Guwahati. Now, this is not a compulsion, but this is a service you can always take an advantage of. You will be physically going to the IIT Guwahati campus. You will be meeting all the students who have taken this program. Uh, one on one, you will also be meeting the instructors and the people who are physically passed from IIT Madras into this particular domain. This is for you to expand your professional community and also help you with job referrals as well. So now, uh, basically, if I tell you about how the classes are going to be conducted, the classes are going to be conducted only on Saturdays and Sundays from 8 p.m to 11 p.m. in the evening. So 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. on a Saturday, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. on a Sunday. OK, all of these sessions are going to be recorded and put in your learning management system, the access to which you have for a duration of lifetime. So that we are the only training providers in the industry giving you that kind of a service wherein the access to the content you have for a duration of lifetime. Now coming to the course fee, the course fee is priced at 85,044. There is 18% of GST on top of that, which makes the course fee to 1,351,000. 1,351,000 is the course fee, including all of the services that you would be getting as a part of this program. This can be processed either as upfront payments or can also be taken into EMIs up till 18 months. If you're going ahead and processing it with 18 months, 4,999 is what you're going to be paying every month. It can be done via credit card, debit card, or one of our financing partners. So now I'll be open to questions. If any one of you have any questions, you can raise your hands or put it on the question box that you have, or can put it on the chat box that you have. Meanwhile, I will be sharing with you my contact details if you are someone who wishes to get enrolled in this program. <clears throat> so basically, this is my contact details. My name is Rudrani. I'm a senior course advisor here. This is my WhatsApp number. You can always reach me out either on my WhatsApp or on my official email ID, which is rudrani at intellipad.com. For any queries that you have, or if you wish to enroll for this program, I would be the person that you can seek out to, and I will be helping you get enrolled in this program as well. So any questions as of such? We'll wait for another two minutes for any questions that we have and.
<clears throat> okay, I believe nobody has any questions as of now. If you guys have any questions, feel free to revert me back on these contact details that I have shared here. Thank you so much for joining today's webinar. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.